Hello everybody and welcome back for another video. Something a little bit different this week. We're going to have a photography quiz. I'm joined by two contestants who are going to battle it out for the title uh, Question of Togs Champion 2021. So let's just get on with it and let's go and meet these contestants. First up, the, my man that needs no introduction. He is my regular collaborator on these videos. It is of course Julian Baird. Happy New Year mate. Happy New Year, Chris. How the hell are you? I'm very, very well. Um, how was Christmas and New Year for you? Fattening. Yeah, me drunk. too. Me too. Yeah. Uh, Pretty standard stuff. Drank too much, ate too much. I have to say, I'm still... Well, I know a lot of people do January, but, you know, I'm on the Wonga Ponga, so I think it's just going to... Yeah, with all this lockdown stuff, I'm just going to keep on going. Yeah, good for you. I, unfortunately, am not. I am drinking water today because I had a very good Christmas. Uh, and so, um, Jules, your, how's your photography knowledge? Are you feeling confident about today's quiz? Absolutely not, no. <laughs> I feel like I'm going to be embarrassing myself quite, quite considerably here. Because unless the answer is Chris uh, Sale or Thomas Heaton, I think I'm pretty well stuffed. <laughs> well, let's, let's see if your component for today is going to be feeling confident as well. Uh, uh, today's uh, competitor to Jules is um, one half of my favourite husband and wife photography team. Coming all the way from Oxford, it is Sam Bowes. Happy New Year, mate. How are you? Happy New Year, Chris. Happy New Year, Julian. It's nice to see you both. Um, and I'm very well, thank you. Fantastic. And are you feeling confident? What's your photography knowledge like? Awful. Awful. Brilliant. So neither of you are feeling particularly confident. I'm probably feeling the least confident because I am a bit worried about having to do all of the questions and all of the scoring, and this is probably the most complicated video I've ever tried to do. So the it may end up being a bit like the, uh, the, the scoring system in QI, where we just do a load of questions, at the end I randomly pick a winner. How does that sound? It sounds like the video is going to be awesome. <laughs> You've yep. got two completely <laughs> unconfident uh, contestants. And the host is a bit nervous. So, yeah, what could In possibly go wrong? Incompetent. Well, let's see what's going to go wrong. Let's jump straight into it. Okay, so this is the, we're going to start with round one. And round one is name the photographer. What I'm going to do is I'm going to show you some very famous photographs and a couple of not-so-famous photographs. And simply all you need to do is to tell me who took the photograph. Each question is worth two points. If you get it wrong, it will go over to your opponent with the chance to win an extra point. And there will also be bonus points available. So, Sam, you're up first. Oh, dear. Can you tell me who took this photograph? Um, it's a portrait photograph, which means I'm probably not going to have any idea who it is. <laughs> so, it's obviously so, it's the actress Demi Moore, taken in 1991. Yeah. Um, it's there's a very famous female um, uh a uh, portrait photographer whose name I can't remember. She did a masterclass. No, I'm going to have to pass on this, I'm afraid. OK, over to you then, Jules, for a bonus point or a point. I have to say I'm in exactly the same position as Sam. Really? I <laughs> recognise the picture. I can even visualise the face of the photographer. And you're right, she does do this masterclass course. Yep. Can I remember her name? It's, it's one of those ones, you know, it's like when you play Trevor Pursuits, it's at the tip of my tongue, but you can't quite find that bit of your brain where it's got holding the answer. So unfortunately, I'm going to have to pass, but I, I think I'm going to be like Sam, and I'm going to kick myself when you tell me the answer. <laughs> yeah. Well, this is going swimmingly so far. <laughs> I suspect most people at, know, at home will recognise this. This was taken by Annie Leibovitz. That's yeah, a word. That's it, it? <laughs> of course. Okay, Sam. So you half a point for knowing it, kind of? No, you don't. No. <laughs> yeah. um, I'm going to ask Sam the bonus question anyway. I don't know if there's much point. Sam, can you tell me which magazine did this appear on the cover of very famously? Um, I'm going to guess and say Time. No. No. Okay. <laughs> well, this is going brilliantly. It was Vanity Fair. Uh, Vanity Fair. I think we should move swiftly on. Uh, I don't think you're going to have a problem keeping track of the score. <laughs> the scoring is, the score is easy peasy so far. Okay, I'm come on, Angel. Let's, let's get up with your first okay. question. This one might be a little bit easier. Uh, can you tell me who took this very famous selfie at the Oscars in 2014? <laughs> um... The clue is he's the guy right in front. Yeah, yeah, so it's not Kevin Spacey. <laughs> it's not Kevin Spacey. He's, I don't know, Kevin's got very long arms. Yeah, uh, he's looking very sketchy. Uh, uh, it's... Uh, I can't remember his name. <laughs> <laughs> this is it's, brilliant. Um, I don't know. I'm going to have to pass. I'm not going to keep trying to pretend that I, I know. If Sam knows, he'll tell me, and I'll go, oh, yeah, that's him. But, no, I'm going to have to pass. I'm Sam, any idea who it is, Sam? Um, 
Um, I'm gonna I'm gonna hazard a guess, even though I know he doesn't look anything like the guy. I'm gonna guess and say Matthew McConaughey. It's not Matthew McConaughey. No, <laughs> so this, this is going swimmingly. It's Bradley Cooper. <sighs> oh yeah, <laughs> Bradley Cooper. Uh, so you should you should have done this at the beginning of December when we hadn't been drinking so much for the month. <laughs> well, I think it's a lot yeah. of brain cells uh, that caused the issues. I think that's a very good idea, Jules. I really do. Uh, so if only we could go though, back. Right? No, no half no. points for nearly knowing the answer, <laughs> but you might get a point for your bonus question. Okay. Um, so the bonus for this is, what record did this photo hold until 2017? Most number of um, retweets? We're, we're off the mark! <laughs> <laughs> Fantastic. First point to Julian. It was either that or Instagram likes. I wasn't, I wasn't 100% sure. It was, yeah. So it, it eventually reached 3.3 million retweets. Wow. And uh, the record was taken over by a tweet about chicken nuggets. <laughs> I mean, that's almost as many retweets as one of my tweets get. Yeah, absolutely. I, I get three. Right, OK. So that was uh, over to you then, Sam. Um, hopefully this one's a little bit easier for you, mate. Um, mm. Can you tell me who took this image taken on the moon in 1969? Now, it's only going to be one of two people, Sam. Which one do you think it was? Um, I'm going to see if I can see a name on that spacesuit. <laughs> and I can't. I'm going to say uh, Buzz Aldrin. Oh, Jesus. <laughs> uh, no. No, uh, Ju no. Julian, for a point, <laughs> can you tell me who took the photo? I'll give now, you a clue. You know, you know when people on quiz shows and say, I always know the answer, but under the pressure of the spotlight and the camera, these things just disappear um, from your mind. So I'm, <laughs> uh, it's... Um, <laughs> Hold on, though. Hold on. Uh, it, it's um oh my god it's um you were hoping these were going to be easy weren't you? <laughs> I, I, you you wait until you see the next one i've got for you <laughs> it's um oh, i it just totally escaped i can't remember you've just had a I, i'm really a really embarrassed because I, I literally can't remember it's buzz uh, there was um neil armstrong now, yes! get there eventually correct answer another Phew. point there for julian yeah. Uh, okay, Sam, your bonus point mm -hmm, here. Mm -hmm. uh, for the bonus point, which cam camera manufacturer made the camera for the moon landings? Which that, camera manufacturer made the camera for the moon landings? That would be Hasselblad. It was yeah. Hasselblad. Excellent. You're off the mark there. <laughs> well done. So just, I just say that you know, the moon landings were fake, weren't they? So they did this in a, in a studio, didn't they? Yeah, absolutely. <laughs> they, used, they used Topaz Labs. <laughs> I think we should I think we should move on to the next question Julian okay. uh, now Julian I know that you have been watching the crown yes and so I picked this question specifically uh, thinking that you may have paid attention to it but uh, oh, no. things aren't going well am I allowed uh, to watch an objection to that? <laughs> no 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 not at all Sam because I've done the same thing for you okay. um, Jules my question your next question who took the official photographs of Queen Elizabeth II's coronation in 1952. Can I just say, I think you've probably overstretched yourself with how intelligent you think Sam and I might actually be in the, in the topic of... It, it was in the crown. We, you watched it. I watched it. Yeah, I watched a great many things. Um, so I'm just looking to my screens at the side there. I honestly don't know, mate. You don't know? Sorry. Okay. I haven't got a clue. Sam? Nope. Um... No, I guess David Bailey, but I know it's before his time. Yeah, it was. It was actually um, one of David's uh, mentors, I think. Uh, it was Cecil Beaton. Oh. Um, I was going to say Annie a little bit. <laughs> I couldn't even say it, even if I did know the answer. <laughs> <laughs> Come on then, Jules. Try and redeem yourself with this one, mate. Okay. This is your bonus point. Um, the Queen's sister, Princess Margaret, famously married a photographer, Anthony Armstrong Jones, in 1960. What title was bestowed upon him? What was the title of Queen? Uh, of, See, I, that was a question. I thought you were going to ask me who she married. I thought that was going to be your first question there. Ah. Uh, the title? Haven't got a clue. No, it was the Earl of Snowden. Ah. Mm. There we go. There we go. Well, this is this is going swimmingly. Um, let's <laughs> let's move on swiftly. There'll be a lot of people, angry people in the comment section going, how do they uh, people call themselves photographers? What do they know? It, uh. Absolutely. So, yeah. <laughs> uh, Sam. This yes. is your last question in this round, thank goodness. Mm -hmm. uh, who took this image of the Bay of Scale, 
that featured in episode three of On My Witch, On My Watch List, in which you appeared as a guest presenter. Well, I recognise this photo, and it's one of my favourite photographers. That would be Mr. Ewan Dunsmuir. It is Ewan. Fantastic. Well done. And for your Referee, bonus... Referee, how come he gets an easy one? <laughs> <laughs> All right, you'll get an easy one in a minute. Uh, for your bonus point, can you remember who selected Ewan's video as their viewer's choice? That would be Simon Booth. Correct! Yes! Fantastic. Well done! Well, things are, things are really ticking along nicely now. Well, let's move on. Let's keep this rolling. Uh, Julian? Yeah? Who took this photograph? Helen Swoon. Fantastic. I didn't even need to finish the question. No. I didn't even need to finish the question. Two points to you, Julian. Uh, so that gets uh, so far in this round. as four points each. So for your bonus point, and yeah. I know you're a huge Game of Thrones fan. God. Yeah. So for your bonus point, can you name the character played by actor Richard Dormer, the, the guy that's portrayed in this photo? Dundarian. Um, Derek... Uh, Derek... Lord Dundarian, or something along those lines. Sam, I'm going to give it to him. It was <laughs> it was Beric Dondarian, but I think he did. I think he did. Barry might have the rest of the round has gone. I think he did really well for that's that. That's very kind of you. Thank you, sir. Uh, yeah, brilliant, excellent. So that's the end of round one. Thank, Thank goodness. Uh, and <laughs> that the scores was quite are quite embarrassing. <laughs> the scores are Sam has four points and Julian has five. Yay. Right, let's move on to round two. Uh, I'll be honest with you, I'm not particularly optimistic about <laughs> this round. Um, so this is Who Said That? Uh, essentially, this round I'm going to uh, read out some quotes by some famous photographers, and you've got to tell me who said it. Um, there are no bonuses in this round, but again, they do go on offer if you get them wrong. So Sam, again, you're first up with this one. Who said, your first 10,000 photographs are your worst? Ansel Adams. Uh, Julian? Oh, I would have said it was Ansel Adams as well. No. It was Henri Cartier-Bresson. It's probably one of my favourite photography quotes. And it, it's so true, isn't it? No, I did it in about 100. <laughs> I'm, I'm um, only up to photograph about 3,000, so it's clearly true. <laughs> yeah. oh, I've probably taken that many this year. Uh, yeah. Or last year. Uh, OK, coming in, Jules. Um... This is your first quote. There are no rules for good photographs, only good photographs. No idea. Do you, would, would you like to have a guess before we hand it over to Sam to get the points? Um, no. No? I haven't got a clue. Really haven't got a clue. Sam? I'm going to hazard a guess at Sean Tucker. It was Ansel Adams. <laughs> um, oh dear <laughs> Right, this next one's not going to go down very well either then uh, Who said this? One of my favourite quotes This has actually appeared in one of my videos One of my recent videos perhaps If your pictures are not good enough You're not close enough Who said that? Um, I have absolutely no idea no idea on that. Don't watch no, my videos. It's fantastic. <laughs> Jules? No, it reminds me of that scene in Scanners where that head, dude's head <laughs> blows up. You know, it's like, don't know, mate. Don't know? No. That's Robert Kappa. I, I've heard the quote. Yeah. I haven't. No. So Robert Kappa, the uh, Hungarian war photographer. One of, the, one of the most famous photographers ever. Never mind, eh? <laughs> so you can redeem yourself, Julian, with this last okay. quote. Who... Which photographer said this? Landscape photography is 90% about being in the right place at the right time. The other 10% is the rule of thirds. Who said that? Joe Cornish. Joe Cornish? It doesn't sound like something Joe Cornish would actually say, to be honest. I, the, the great Joe I Cornish. I don't, I don't think he'd say that, no. no. Sam, you got any ideas? Um, I don't know. Charlie Waite. Uh, it wasn't Charlie Waite. No, I think you're going a little bit too uh, too highbrow. Too modern, yeah. It, it was actually me. <laughs> <laughs> and I actually said it to Julian. <laughs> yeah, but you know I don't listen to you, mate. <laughs> exactly. Uh, that was a bit of a joke run I threw in, really. But for a bonus point, how big do you think my ego could get? Right, um, OK, on no. <laughs> to round three. Let's see if... We can redeem ourselves. Did anyone get any points? Uh, no, I, I shall recap the points. Uh, nobody scored any points in that round. 
Uh, it is uh, four points to Sam and Jules one point ahead on five points. Excellent. Right then, on to round three. This more embarrassment should be a little bit. No, I think that, again this is going to be this is going to be easier now. Uh, I was running out of ideas when I started this round. Um, so yeah, r- round three is where in the world. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to show you some photographs. Um, and what you need to do is just tell me whereabouts in the world these photographs were taken. Um, incorrect answers won't be handed over in this round for reasons that will become obvious in a moment. So you're up first again, Sam. Can you tell me where in the world this photograph was taken? That would be Scotland. And can you tell me specifically the reason? Oh, sorry. That would be uh, Glencoe. It's it's uh, Ben Moore Etiv. Fantastic. Uh, Jules, is that correct? Uh, that, it is Bukalaitid Moore and Glencoe, yes. Fantastic. And um, why? how do you know that, Jules? Because uh, I was there when that picture was taken. You were there when this picture was taken. Now, is there a story behind this picture? Has this picture uh, reached critical acclaim at all? I wouldn't go as far to say as it's reached <laughs> critical acclaim, but it, yeah, it did get a commended award in the Scottish Landscape Photography Year, year before last. Fantastic. And, and rightly so. Where this, I love this photo. Um, if people are looking over your shoulder, they can probably see it on the wall, can't they? Uh, actually, yeah. It's up there. Yeah, fantastic. So that's, um, that was two points to Sam. I did not make a note of those. Uh, one, two. Um, and Sam, it's not really fair just to show uh, Julian's photo from uh, Scottish Landscape Photographer of the Year, because, of course, there's this one as well. Uh, now, is that's yours, isn't it? Yes, it is. Yes. And that was also commended to Scottish Landscape Photographer of the Year. I believe it was on the next page of a book after Julian's. Yes, that was also commended in Scottish <laughs> oh, Landscape Photographer of the Year. It's going to be really embarrassing, year. isn't it? <laughs> <laughs> Fantastic. So where is this? This isn't uh, Glencoe, is it? No, is that, is that Julian's question? No, no, no. Oh, okay. <laughs> no, that's, uh, that's Arkle in um, uh, Sutherland. Yep. Fantastic. Okay, now this is Julian's question. Okay, Julian, can you tell yep. me... All I need to know is the country that this photograph was taken in. Just... Oh, that'll be Iceland. Sam, is it Iceland? Yes, that is that is Iceland. Fantastic. Yep. And, and again, this is one that you took. Once again, yep, I was there when that photo was taken. I was getting my feet very wet. Fantastic. And where, how long ago was this taken? Um, I think that was 2017, it must have been, maybe. Okay. Yeah, I think it was 2017. Yeah. Very Too good. long ago. I need to go back then. Yeah, lovely photo. And that, 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 those... The, the colour of that ice is just... It's so obviously Iceland, isn't it? Yeah. 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 Absolutely stunning place. Okay, fantastic. Well done, Jules. Uh, okay, Sam. We're starting to get a few points now. So, Sam, just to make it a little bit trickier, I want you to name the beach. Um, I believe that is Luscan Tyre on the Isle of Harris. Is it Jules? It is indeed, yes. Fantastic. So, another <laughs> two points to Sam there. Uh, any particular story you want to tell people about this particular photo, Jules? I happened to be there the moment that picture was also taken. <laughs> yes. Did this go on to uh, feature in any books at all in any way? <laughs> yes. <laughs> this is probably where we're getting points. Yeah, the image was also commended in Scottish Landscape Photographer of the Year last year. Fantastic. Well done, mate. A great achievement. Um, Thank you. I love this photo. And this is actually the main photo on your website, isn't it? This is the, the landing page photo on your website. It is. It's a landing page, yeah. yeah. I'd be very proud of that. I love that photo. That's a Fantastic. gorgeous photo and it's an amazing place as well. Mm. It is. Oh, it's one of those places you just you want to keep on keep on going. And, yeah. and just as a tip to the viewers, you know that picture had been entered several times into the same competition years before. So keep you've got a good image. You keep putting it in. You never know. Mm-hmm. Brilliant. Right. On to your next question then. All I want to know, Jules, for this is which country this was taken in. Um, I believe that's Milford Sound in New Zealand. Bloody hell, good work, mate. Fantastic. Been... Is that right? Anyway, oh, sorry. Is that right, Sam? <laughs> yes, it is. Yes. Fantastic. <laughs> Fantastic. <laughs> well, well done. Um, this is Fantastic going swimming, Fantastic photograph mate. there as well. <laughs> it's a very nice photograph. Any stories behind that one, Sam? Um, we were really lucky with the weather on that particular day. It had been a, an awful, awful grey, wet, horrible day and it was the only day we could actually make it out to Milford Sound because the road was closed for days either side and we went out there that day and it was just before sunset it just cleared a little bit we just had that amazing colour in the sky and it was stunning absolutely Mm. beautiful place I I love skies like that Mm. fantastic brilliant brilliant photo 
Well done, Sam. Well done, Jules. Uh, that puts you in the lead. Uh, okay, on to uh, Sam's next question. I think this is Sam's final one in this round. All I, all I want you to do, Sam, is to name the Cornish fishing village. Ah, uh, I remember watching Julian's video as well, where he did the location guide to this. Um, mm. And I can't remember. I'm, I'm going to guess at Mousel. Is it Mousel, uh, Jules? No, it's Boss Castle. It is uh, Boss uh, Castle. One, yeah. um, why did I pick this Sorry, one, Jules? I don't know. Why did you pick that one? Is that because um, your mum still lives in the area? My mum my mum lives in Boss Castle. Yeah. And I've taken this this very same photo, but I cocked it up. Because <laughs> I, I, I got the rock cutting into the harbour. So we all make mistakes, uh, some more than others. The thing to um, remember, Chris, is it's ten percent rule of foot thirds. <laughs> <laughs> if you start if you start paying attention to anything I say, you really are in trouble. Right, last one then for Julian. Slightly harder this one. Julian, can you tell me which island that lies off the southeast coast of France that this photograph was taken? I'm going to say somewhere. I have no idea, A, if it's an island, or B, whether it's even part of France. For some reason, I'm going to say Corsica. Sam, is that Corsica? Yep, that is definitely is Corsica. Yes, well done. Well done, mate. Congratulations. Nailed yeah, nailed it. So that's two points uh, to you, Jules. That's the end of round three, and that has made a big difference to the scores. Uh, Sam has eight points, but way out in front on 11 points is Julian. Ooh. Well done. I'm not doing well, am I? <laughs> You're doing great. <laughs> You're doing great. You just didn't recognise Boss Castle. That's all that happened there. <laughs> okay, on to round four. This one is a little bit different. Uh, this is a fictional photographers. So I'm going to ask you some questions about fictional photographers that have appeared in films. Again, two points for a correct answer. Incorrect answers will be handed over to your opponent. Uh, Sam, you're up first. Here we go. Which 1960s fashion photographer known for his womanising and hard partying, was also an agent for the British Secret Service. Which fictional photographer? Oh, it's fictional, would, isn't it? Yeah. Would that be Austin Powers? It is Austin yeah, Powers. Baby. Well yes. done. <laughs> yeah, baby. Groovy baby. Uh, two points to you, Sam. Well done, mate. Brilliant. Uh, okay, next one. For you, Julian, which photojournalist worked alongside Clark Kent and Lois Lane at the Daily Planet. Which photojournalist worked alongside Clark Kent and Lois Lane at the Daily Planet? I have no idea. I haven't got a no clue. idea. No idea at all. Over to you, Sam. I can't remember his name. I can I can remember the character from the TV series, but I mm. can't remember his name, so I'm going to have to pass. Mm. Okay, fair, fair enough. Uh, Either of you familiar with the band The Spin Doctors? Uh, so this was kind of late, I guess, or nineties. I guess with Jules when you and I were at uni, that sort of time. I'm aware of them. I know uh, the name. So did a song called Jimmy Olsen's Blues? Do you remember that? No. No. All right, fair enough. Yeah, it was Jimmy Olsen. Was the answer to that one? Never mind. Sam caught up a little bit there. Good. Uh, and he's now got the opportunity to go ahead. <gasps> wow. So this one's a bit. I think this one's a little bit trickier. Which actor? played photographer Sean O'Connell in the film A Secret Life of Walter Mitty. Which actor played the photographer Sean O'Connell in the film The Secret Life of Walter Mitty? Was it... I know he was in the film. Was it Ben Stiller? I'm going to say no, it wasn't me. I'm going to go over to Jules, see if he knows the answer to that. I, so, don't, I don't know. No. But Ben Stiller played the lead character. He played Walter Mitty himself. Yeah, you don't know? Nope. The photographer was played by Sean Penn. Have you, have you seen that film? I have. It's no. a really good film. It is a good film. Um, unlucky there, uh, Sam. Uh, so, Jules, this is the uh, final question in this round, thank goodness. Um, and uh, this is your opportunity to go a couple of uh, three points in the lead. Um, which actor, another, another actor one, which actor played photographer Nick Van Owen in the film The Lost World at Jurassic Park? Which actor played photographer Nick Van Owen in the film The Lost World Jurassic Park? Literally no idea. Have you seen the film? Which one is that? Is that the third of the original trilogy? It's the second of the original trilogy. Uh, still no idea, but I have seen it once, maybe twice. Fair enough. Sam, you, any idea? I can picture him again. I can't remember his name, so no, sorry. No? 
Ah, uh, that was your opportunity to pull level. I know. It was, it was Vince Vaughn. Oh, that was one. Yeah. Yeah. Was it? Uh, that, wow. Yeah. That, 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 and the other thing that shocked me when I was doing the research, that film was released in 1997. It's 23 years old now. That old. makes me feel really old. <laughs> anyway, that's the end of that round. Uh, the scores, Sam closed the gap a little bit there. Sam's on 10. Uh, Julian slightly out in front on 11 points. Ooh, close. Close. Right. This is the penultimate round. It's called The Pride of Britain. So in this round, I am going to show you some of the photographs by some of Britain's finest landscape photographers. All you have to do is name the photographer. Again, two points for a correct answer. Uh, incorrect answers will go over to your opponent for a point, and there are bonus points available in this round as well. Sam's going to start off. Uh, here we go. I don't know how I feel about this round. We'll see. We'll see how we go. So first up, who took uh, this photograph? Name the photographer. Um, would that be James Bell? It's not James Bell. Yeah. Uh, Sam, uh, Jules, sorry, mate. Right, so um, I'm going to say Joe Cornish for every single answer that I don't know until <laughs> one of them is Joe Cornish. Um, I don't think it is, but then again, the, the kind of colour palette is kind of Cornish. I'm going to go with Joe Cornish. Okay, no, it wasn't Joe Cornish. This is Charlie Waite. <sighs> um, this is uh, probably my favourite uh, Charlie Waite photograph. Um, he did a little video, it was on Twitter, and he talked about this. It's just magic. He's, he's just a lovely, brilliant Fantastic guy and a big hero of mine. Uh, Sam, for your bonus point, can you tell me where mm -hmm. it was taken? Uh, Derwent Water. It's not Derwent Water, it's Rhine Derwent. Water. Ah, okay. Uh, unfortunately, not off to the best of starts, but no. I have every faith in you, Julian, that you will get this next one correct. Misplaced faith, I imagine. <laughs> I like can you tell me, Julian, who oh, I took who that, is. that photograph? Bryant. Correct! Two points to Julian, fantastic. That is indeed Colin Pryor. For your bonus point, mate, can you tell me where that was taken? And, Scotland. And it is. It's, that, that doesn't. I'm not letting you have that. <laughs> the, the, so the, the reason I ask you, mate, is this is on the cover of one of yeah. the books that you reviewed yeah. in uh, on my bookshelf. The book's there. I just want the area. I don't need to know the peaks or the mountains or anything like that. I'm gonna go. I'm gonna go Torridon. It's not Torridon, then. Ah. It's the Isle of Skye. Ah, okay. Okay, but well done, Colin Pryor. I was a bit worried that you weren't gonna get that. One. That would have been really um, embarrassing. It would have been embarrassing. Right, let's see if Sam can get this one. Sam, who took this photograph? Uh, one of the best British photographers, the landscape photographers, I think that that, that uh, this country's produced. I think it might be Michael Kenner. It is Michael Kenner. Of course it's Michael Kenner. Um, probably my favourite. The, the, probably the, the landscape photographer has the biggest influence on me. Michael Kenner. Two points to you, Sam. Well done for that. So your bonus question, and I picked this one for a reason. Can you name the Oxfordshire power station that's featured in this photograph? It's closed in 2013. Uh, would that be Didcot by any chance? It is Didcot. Yes. Congratulations. Well <laughs> that brings you up to 13 points and the, the scores are tied. Ooh. Very exciting. So let's, without further ado, we're going to hop over to Jules' next question. Which master of landscape photography took this photo? That is Joe Cornish. <laughs> it is Joe yeah, Cornish. Yeah, you, Joe the great Joe Cornish. Somewhere. Let's not skip on too far ahead because that, what a photograph that is. That is, is a cracking picture. The, yeah. It's amazing, isn't it? So you that's two, two points to you, Jules. Well done, mate, on that one. Now, your bon for your bonus question, can you name the prominent peaks in the background? No. You can't? Um, I'm desk because I've, I've read the, the story behind this image and I know that some of that area is, I think, an old... Sort of slate mine or some sort mm -hmm. of mine that you can just see there in the midground. So mm -hmm. my gut is to say somewhere in the Lake District, but it could equally have be Wales as well. To name the peak, not a chance. No, uh, um, it, it, I can't hand over bonus questions, Sam. But you got uh, an idea? Yes, it's Langdale Pikes. It is the Langdale Pikes. Ah, well, done. well done, mate. Sorry about that. That's all right. right. I'm going to warn you now. Sam, your next yep. question. I think this is the hardest one I've set. <laughs> Great, thanks. Uh, I'm sorry about that. Um, 
I'm going to give you a little bit of a clue, though, just because uh, it is so hard. Uh, it is obviously named the photographer, um, but I'll give you a little bit of a clue. Uh, he was a, a Canon ambassador for quite a long time. And I know you shoot Canon. Would it be Ross Hoddenot, by any chance? It would not be no. the famous Nikon user, Ross Hoddenot. <laughs> Nikon ambassador. <laughs> He's a Nikon ambassador, is he? He was a Nikon okay. ambassador, yes. I'm, I'm afraid it's not, Ross. Uh, I will go over to Jules. I can see why you thought it might have been Ross. He's, he's done similar shots like that. Yeah, mm. yeah. I, I honestly don't know. You don't know? Oh, hang, um, on, hang on, hang on. Is it um, David Noten? I mean, that is inspired. Is it? <laughs> there, David's one of my favourite photographers, Nailed and I would have got that, right? <laughs> Nailed it. just it. came to me in a moment of, of clarity. <laughs> Absolutely fantastic. I mean, uh, so David wrote uh, for many years in Practical Photography, which is the first photography magazine that I kind of read, and, and he was, again, you know, huge influence to me. Uh, I would never have got that. I mean, I'm, I'm super impressed with you on that one. Uh, okay, Sam, you do get a bonus point uh, in this one. Uh, see if you can try and keep up with, with Jules now. Mm -hmm. um, which English county was this photograph taken in? Is it Dorset? It is Dorset. Congratulations, yeah. mate. Uh, uh, one point for you there. Right. <laughs> Last one in this round. Jules, I think you've done very well. Um, see how you get on with this one. Can you name the photographer that took this? <laughs> oh, yeah, I can. <laughs> well, I hope so. It could be one or two. But I've, I'm pretty sure it's Ross, wasn't it? It is Ross. Congratulations. Two points there for Jules. Uh, your bonus point, mate. Can you name uh, where that was taken? It's Commas Hill. It is Commas Hill. Well done, mate. That that really has uh, that's changed everything. That uh, uh, Jules now way out ahead on 19 points for Sam on 14. There's still time. There's always time. Well, there is time. We're in to the final round. Know your YouTuber. So I'm now going to ask you some questions about our fellow YouTubers. This and could get embarrassing. This, this could get very embarrassing. More embarrassing than it's been already. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it uh, could be. Um, I'm going to ask you some questions about our fellow YouTubers. But these questions have a little bit of a musical theme. And again, wrong or incorrect answers will go over for a bonus point. Um, uh, for an extra point, bonus points are available throughout this round. So there is an opportunity here for you to catch up, Sam. Good. And we're going to start with this first question. So which YouTuber kept us all entertained throughout lockdown with his wine fueled solo concerts, which he strummed along with hits by the Bee Gees, the Jackson 5 and Dire Straits? I actually don't know. Um, I'm going to guess Owen Clark for it because I know he's very talented, but I think he's more of a jazz musician, so I can't imagine him doing that. Okay. That's wrong. Yep. Jules will tell you who it was. It's Nick Livesey. It was Nick Livesey. <laughs> Sorry, Nick. Point, point for you there, Jules. <laughs> uh, uh, Sammy, bonus question. Uh, mm. Can you tell me which area of Wales Nick is most associated with? Snowdonia. That's correct. Point there to you. Okay, Julian. It's getting quite exciting, though, isn't it? Getting it is getting quite exciting. I mean, there's a bit of you've, you've opened up a bit of a. Well, no, it's uh, <laughs> still five points in it. Sorry, I'm not very good at this, am I? Um, okay, Julian. Which YouTuber plays numerous instruments, including the guitar, for the band Rags and Feathers? Which YouTuber plays a number of instruments? including the guitar for the band Rags and Feathers. I'm going to take a wild guess, and this is purely a wild guess, because um, it's obviously not Nick Livesey. Um, I'm going to say Maui Davis, because I know he's kind of into music, but I, that's, a, that's a guess. But no, guess. It's, it's, it's not Ma it's not Mali. Um Sam, do you want to tell Jules who it is? Yes, I do, and they're absolutely fantastic, and you should go and check them out, definitely. Um, it is Oddbjorn Osterwick. It is oh. Oddbjorn. Point there for Sam. Uh, Jules... This yep. is your bonus question. Okay. Which of Oddbjorn's series of films do I regularly refer to as the best thing on YouTube? Now, this was in a recent video that I did. Um, I, you know, He did a series. Where was this series set? Uh, it's honestly absolutely fantastic. If you haven't seen it, I'm not going to put a link in the description. I keep doing that. Which area uh, does that come from? I, I honestly don't know. I haven't got a clue. 
Don't know. Uh, Sam, again, can't, can't really put it on on offer, but do you know? Svelbard? It is Svelbard, yeah. Yep. Well done. Right, okay. Sam, this is your last question. So you need you need this and you need the bonus point. <laughs> and if Jill slips up, we could have a tie on our hands. But you need to get this, right? Okay. Which YouTuber's videos often feature original musical compositions written by his wife, Dawn? Would that be Marley Davis? It is Marley Davis. Yes. Two points for Sam. <laughs> and things are getting interesting now. And for this bonus point... Oh, this is... This is a tricky one. For your bonus point, what is my nickname for Mally? How do I refer to Mally? Um, this is this is getting serious now. Um. um oh no! no, no. I, it, uh, oh, the name's just gone out of my head. Is it the it's the actor, the loud actor? I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna no, help you no, out a little bit. I'll pass. Okay, fine, fantastic. Not doesn't go on off for Jules because it's a bonus point. But do you know? Is it the Brian Brian Blessed of photography? Yeah, he he is called that. He's <laughs> called. He, some people do refer to him as Brian Blessed's love child, but my nickname for him is Tigger on Acid. <laughs> <laughs> right. Okay. I think that's pretty much decided it. But Jules, we've got one last question left, um, and this is yeah your last question. Here. So let's see if you can get this one and and, and really kill it off. Um, which YouTuber was formerly the guitarist for the band Revolution? I. Which YouTuber? Um, I honestly don't know. No. Nope. You don't know the answer to that. Nope. Um, okay, so you know, Sam can go over to you uh, for a bonus point. Do Do I get a bonus point for that? Yes, you do. Um, it was me. It was you. <laughs> <laughs> Fantastic! Bonus Hallelujah. point to you. <laughs> <laughs> so there's one and point. To be fair, that is an impossible question because I don't think anyone's heard of us. So. <laughs> <laughs> well, I have clearly. Okay. <laughs> so, uh, come on then, George. Your bonus question. Yeah. Again, okay, this featured in a recent video from mine. What advice did I give to Sam about making YouTube videos, which he promptly ignored? <laughs> uh, probably something about keeping them short. Nope. Go on, nope. tell him, Sam. Uh, to include Hannah in them more. Yeah, a bit more, a bit more Hannah, a bit yep. less Sam. We're working on that. Mm. <laughs> right, fantastic. That is the end of the quiz. Uh, it was a lot closer in the end, and also a lot more high scoring than we thought it might be after that first <laughs> round. Uh, Sam, you scored nineteen points, but the winner by a single point is Julian. Congratulations, Jules. Thanks. Well done, Sam. It was, that was really good fun. That was a very well deserved win there, Julian. Oh, but yeah. yes, it was it good. Was fun. Close, mate. That was pretty close. <laughs> um, so, Julian, you now hold the title of uh, a question of Togs Champion 2021. Will you be putting that on your website? I will be. I hope there's a gift or something I can put on my website at the top so I can uh, show everyone how knowledgeable yeah. I am in the world of photography. <laughs> <laughs> and will you come back in 2022 to defend your crown? I certainly will, yes. <laughs> Fantastic. Anyway, I just want to say a big thank you to everybody who's watched this video. Thanks ever so much for tuning in. All that's left for me to do is say um, a big thank you, uh, and it's a goodbye from Julian. Goodbye. It's a goodbye from Sam. Goodbye. And it's a goodbye from me. Thank you very much for watching. <laughs>